Hey guys, today we're going to look at an array of objects in JavaScript. We know that we can create an array like so and store a few strings in it. If I can spell bananas, just leave that B for now, it doesn't really matter. But if we go ahead and return our array here. Cancel that lock. Our array. We get that array. So we have an array of strings there. And we know we can do this with numbers as well. So we could change this up to be one. So we can do it with numbers as well when we get an array. So in an array, we can store numbers, we can store strings, but we can also store objects. So JavaScript objects. So let's go ahead and see how we, we would do that. So what we can do is we can create an array like so, like we normally do. We'll go ahead and open up the brackets here. And then what we can do is each item in the array will effectively be a JavaScript object. So let's say this has a name of Ray. And it's age of 26. You know, that's the first object in the array, and now we can create another object. We can say name is John, and John has an age of 30. And we'll create one more. So we can say we have a name of Liam, and he has an age of 50. So you can see we've created an array, and inside this array we just have three different objects. So that's what an array of objects is. So if we console that log this again, we now get our array of objects. So the next part of this is how would we actually access each object in the array? Let's say if we wanted to return the name of each person inside this array. So what we would do is we would do what's called loop over the array of objects. So we can go for var i equals zero. i is going to be less than the array.length, so until our loop reaches the end of the array. And we're going to count up, so we'll do i plus plus. So what we can do here is we can just console.log hello and we can access the name of each object. So we can say array i. So that will be each object. So let's just run this to see that we will loop over the array of objects and we're returning hello with each object. So you can see each object. So now it becomes very straightforward. How do we access a property in an object? We use the dot notation. So now we can just do array dot name. And if we rerun this, it says, hello, Ray, hello, John, hello, Liam. And if we want to just add to this, we could say, you are, oops, sorry. So we can do age as well. So we can access the age, for example. So that's just a quick demo of what an array of objects are. Uh, it's just a lot of different objects stored in an array. So each item in the array is effectively an object. And to access each object in the array, we would have to loop over the array on this line here. And then inside that loop, we have access to each object using array i. And then we can use dot notation to access the individual properties of each object. So I hope this helped clear up a few issues people might be having with what is an array of objects and how do we access each object inside that array. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.